Great, thanks a lot mate, cheers, have a good one. What a way to start the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a fresh box of Lodo. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today we are going to be doing some sort of day in the life type video, something that you guys request a lot. Uh, and I would say that most videos are a day in my life, but this is going to be more specific to the tasks that I'm doing throughout the day, but it's not going to be in the title. The title will be something that we talk about, but it is a, it is one. Okay. So, this will actually be the first full video that you guys see um, using the brand new lens. If you saw the video from the other day, we now have a big bad boy lens for various reasons which I will reveal very, very soon. So, this will be the first day in the life with this in full. I, I've used it in dribs and drabs in the past few videos, but I didn't want to point it out because I was waiting to do the, the reveal video and all that kind of stuff, you know? So recently in my morning routine, I have been getting dressed. And when I say getting dressed, I mean work from home dressed. Like on a day when I'm not at work with the old man, I will sit here all day, every day, answer messages, answer emails, do phone calls, edit videos, film videos, it's my life and I f***ing love it, right? But one thing I've definitely found that helps me is actually getting up and getting dressed, right? I always make sure that I'm sat at my laptop by 9 a.m. Sometimes it's earlier, but it is never later. I go by the logic of if I was in an office job, I would be working at my computer or desk by 9 a.m. I would be there at 9 a.m. at the latest. So why would I do that any differently from home? And I feel like that's a, a perspective that you need to take if you're going to be kind of well, self-employed if you like. If you don't work, you don't get paid. And I don't know about you, but I personally, I quite like getting paid, you know? So I like to work to, to earn a bit of cashola and all of that, you know? So drop this video a like if you are excited, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. We are sipping on an Excite Energy, which actually um, nearly dropped like nine times. If you saw on my Instagram, it fizzed a tad. It's gonna be a good one. I got a lot to do today. Okay, right, let's get into it. So I now realize that I did that entire first clip with the tag on my t-shirt. I mean, that's, that is just so embarrassing. I was taking some photos in this t-shirt because it's a new My Protein t-shirt that I need to take a photo of. And I had the photos with the freaking tag on. So not only do I look stupid at the start of my video, I have to retake the photos. I don't even know what to say. One thing I will say in addition to actually getting dressed is I have started making my bed, even with all of these pillows that Charlotte made me buy. They've really grown on me and I like making the bed in, in a nice kind of fashion. You know, I, I like doing that. It's part of my part of my morning routine, if you like. I wake up and I, I make the bed regardless of whether I'm going to work or whether I'm staying at home because it's nicer to come back to a bed that's made than it is to come back to a bed that's not made. Life tips, entrepreneur grinding 24-7. A few moments later. But chicken and rice, I'm a chicken and rice, I'm a chicken and rice, hey. Oh, no, I'm a chicken and rice, I'm a chicken and rice, I'm a chicken and rice, hey. If you say the words is drinking all night and it's not chicken and rice, you're incorrect and we can no longer be friends. You may as well unsubscribe from my channel. You're probably also wondering why I've actually got changed in a split second. Well, people, that is because one of my jobs for this morning has been to take some photos in some my protein stuff. And to do that, I have to get changed on a frequent basis. So stay tuned on my Instagram, LSJ underscore fitness. If you have not already followed, you're missing out. And again, if you're not following, we probably can't be friends. Jay Z in the friggin' live lounge. I'm taking a, I'm taking a scheduled, unscheduled work break. Bum 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 bum. It's 
but one less time I need you on the run. What a chills, man. Sick song. Da, 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 da. Hey, Jess. Hey, pup. It's food time. It's food time. No, for, for me, not, not you, sorry. I've got to the point now with my oats where I feel like I should just make a dedicated, like, protein oats bros video because I include it in a lot of vlogs, like the amount of water, the amount of oats, etc. But I've not actually done a dedicated video for that. That seems weird to me because I've done like 610 videos and not one of them have been about one of the things that you guys know I do every single day. Well, it's in day in the life now, so it's official. I used to think I couldn't be without you, be without you. Oh god, can't bounce up and down on my friggin' knee. I have a physio appointment on Friday, by the way, guys. Um, I've currently got it strapped up. I'm hoping that by the time you guys will be seeing this video on Sunday, so I'm hoping that by the time that you guys actually see this video, it will be fixed, or I will at least know what the problem is. Um, the problem, it just kind of got. I can't really straighten my leg properly. Um, yeah, so that's just not ideal, you know. We're gonna do a little bit of a training session later, but it's just gonna be a kind of go through the motions, upper body seated pump. Pretty much isolation movements rather than planting my feet for a bench press and standing up right for a shoulder press. Of course, I can't squat right now. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. But it is what it is, as they say in the biz. So I'm gonna add my water. I'm gonna add my the way from my protein. Definitely worth the extra money, just consider that. And while it digests, I'm gonna start working on a new video. A video for the project that I have been kind of working on. Well, not project, kind of. You guys will see, but I'm gonna start working on the video because it's gonna take some time, um, along with ironing out a few more of the details. Um, the business idea will be coming to fruition fairly, fairly soon. Um, I hope anyway. But the video is going to take some time, so I'm going to start working on it now. And then we're going to train. That's one other thing that people don't really realise is that when I'm at home, I don't actually really necessarily take a lunch break. I kind of just keep going, I kind of just keep working through because I'm just only on a computer and I'm editing and I'm doing stuff that I love. I don't feel the need to uh, take a break from like being on the shop floor or being behind a till or just being in a crammed office or whatever. I'm just chilling in my bedroom, doing what I love, just grinding 24 seven, you know. Problem, right? Um, and it's probably going to be the title of today's video, right? Because day in the life titles just never seem to do well. Day in the life and full day of eating titles never seem to do well. You always ask for them and you do enjoy them, they get great feedback. But if I put it in the title, it just doesn't do well. And I'm not about that life, we're trying to build the momentum, not lose it. So, anyway, the problem that I have is my knee, right? It is a problem because I train legs twice a week. You know how many more calories that you burn when you train legs. I'm missing out on that. And I'm currently in a dieting phase. I'm currently trying to get my weight down to 159 pounds. That is my end goal for summer shredding. We started at like mid 180s, high 180s or whatever. To get down to 159 pounds is my end goal. Um, and the, the clock is kind of, the clock's ticking on that, you know. Um, but since this knee has flared up and I had my elbow before, this, there's just been things that have got in the way that you just can't plan for. You know, I can't plan for not being able to train legs for 10 days. I can't plan for, for things like that. You know, I was going on my evening walks. I, ma I made an entire video dedicated towards walking in the evening to burn some extra calories, right? I made an entire video about that two weeks ago. It was really, really helping me. And I have found, except for the, this morning was okay, we were 164.2 pounds this morning, but we are meant to be about two pounds less than that, two pounds lower than that, you know? 
I would be there if it wasn't for my, my, my knee. I haven't been able to train properly. I haven't even really been able to train upper body properly. I've had a bit of a pump, done some frigging lateral raises. I mean, for God's sake, I'm getting more of a pump holding this bloody camera than I have been doing the sessions that I've been doing, you know? So with that, I can't go on the spin bike, obviously, if my, I can't straighten or bend my knee properly yet. It's getting, it is getting better, but I just wanted to kind of, I needed to let you know because it was kind of, uh, this might sound daft, but it was bugging me. It was on my chest. I hadn't mentioned my weight. I hadn't mentioned my progress or shown my physique properly um, for well over a week now. And that is a long time for me when you're doing five videos a week. You know, that's a good few videos without mentioning the sole purpose of my one real goal right now, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to kind of update you. I am okay. I know I'm going to be okay because it is getting better day by day. However, I do still want to go for this physio appointment. Just excited to get back on track because I felt like ever since I went to the caravan with Charlotte, I've just had things that have got in the way that I just didn't plan and I would be ahead of where I am right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm really, really happy with where we are right now. We are currently in the best shape that I have actually ever been in, in terms of body composition and just mass. You know, there's people watching this going, oh my God, that's the best you've ever looked. Like, yes, yes, this is the best that I have ever looked. And as soon as you get out of the kind of comparing yourself to others thing, you become more satisfied with your own progress. So you do you and, and I'll do me. But I just wanted to let you guys know um, I am okay, 159 pounds is in sight, and I'm thinking um, over the next kind of day or two, I'm gonna film a summer shredding dedicated physique update, summer shredding dedicated kind of um, final month, because I'm actually four weeks away from where, you know, we've got four weeks left of the dieting phase. So I just wanted to kind of keep you in the loop because it, <laughs> It was bugging me. It really, really was bugging me that I hadn't said anything or mentioned it. And I had a couple of messages which kind of prompted this this speech, just looking for updates. So I've posted a reel on Instagram. That'll do for now. And then you can wait for either the next video or the one after that for a proper summer shredding update. We still got this team. Oh, just look at her. What an absolute beauty what an absolute beauty and the car is actually a little bit dirty i do have a lot of driving to do over the next few days so i'm definitely not gonna get it clean before that because there's no point um and i'll get it cleaned over the next kind of week or so but bobby adventures and bobby videos are coming very very soon i do actually have um some plans for the car again which i haven't really mentioned for a little while because um, there was a little phase where it was in the garage and stuff and I just wasn't really sure what was going on with the car. Um, but now everything's all good, you know, the lights stayed off and everything's been done that needs to be done. So very, very soon we will be looking at a little one series, series, do you get it? BMW, one series, series. A little bit of a, not a transformation because I'm not going to be changing the car, but going to be doing little kind of cool different things. So I'm excited to do that for one and I'm excited to share it for two. So stay tuned, drop this video a like if you're excited for that. That session was pants, by the way. Absolutely pants. I couldn't really do an awful lot. So I'm looking forward to just resting up for a couple of days and um, letting, letting my body do its thing. I'm making sure that I get its supply of protein so that it can rebuild my muscles. <laughs> so that basically I'm not falling to pieces come the weekend because I have something cool planned and I'll actually be doing it right now when you guys see this video it will be going live on Sunday I will be at a very specific location which I have to keep secret a few of you all have figured out what's going on it's a series that's going to be making a return I'm going somewhere on Sunday mm -hmm. But I have to keep it a secret. I know I said I was going to release it, but this one in particular, I just have to keep it. Mm. I just have to keep it a secret. I just, I can't, I can't invite others. It's not my place to be inviting people, and that will become clear um, at the time. I will explain and, you know. But regardless, it's going to be a good video, and we'll make a return very, very soon. PhD LSJ at checkout. So that's it everybody. We are skipping leg day, but I have a legitimate reason, you know? Stay tuned for the next video or the one after. I'm not too sure how my schedule is gonna pan out, but very soon I will do an updated kind of description, explanation, an updated explanation of this chart. This is the LSJ chart, one that I send to all of my clients. Even if you have bought an OHP plan, drop me a message and I will send one over to you. But that in a nutshell everybody is why we are skipping leg day. I'm really not that happy about it. Um, I actually really like 
training legs. It would be my second favourite. I'm not going to BS you and say, oh, my favourite is leg day. Like, it definitely comes second though. Push day first because of shoulder press, legs, and then back at the, at the bottom. Still like it, just not as much as the other stuff, you know. All will be okay very, very soon and all will be explained in the very near future. You see this up here? I abide by this and I intend to stick to it. One, five, nine is in check, it is in sight, we will still hit that goal. Stay tuned for summer shredding updates, diet updates, all kinds of stuff. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you have enjoyed, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Together we will grow and I will see you in the next one.